Hello and welcome back to the Rag Yaman Sitar lesson series. I'm Will Marsh and here on lesson 12 we're continuing our study of tons and the tons are these exciting improvisational passages that happen with our composition. On our last lesson we learned a couple short tons and we learned a lot of new um, terminology for different sections here. So I want to do a quick little recap um, before we jump in and learn another ton and learn something really cool called the Tihai. So the way all of these tons work is in the context of our composition. And by playing this main line of the composition only, we're playing what is called the gut. So the gut is like our theme. And we have a lead-in to the gut, and that lead-in is called the mukura. And that mukura starts on beat 11, like this. Mm. So in our first tons, the way that we're going to end is we're going to end the ton and then pick up the mukura from 11. So we have our gut, our mukura, and I'll pick us back up on the last couple short tons we learned, and we'll go ahead and learn another ton. So the first ton we learned was this phrase. And then the mukura. So we'll call that ton number one. Try that with me. One, two, three, four. Ni re ga ma pa ma. Ni re ga ga ni re ni re ga. To the mukra. Tan number two is the same uh, form where we play the tan and pick up the mukra. Tan number two is ni da pa ma da pa. The mukra. So try tan number two with me. One, two, three, four. Nida pa ma da pa. Nida pa ma da pa. Great. Now let's play these two tons with the tabla. I am at 133 BPM. And the way we're going to do it is play the gut once. Ton, mukra, gut, ton. Gut. It's a ton one. Gut. Ton two. One. You can hear that the tons start on beat five. Ton one. One, two, three, four, play along with those two tons that we did in the last class. Now let's add our new first new ton, which is going to fall in the same place as these two tons, where we're starting on beat five and then picking up the mukra. So our new ton will be... I'll slow that down. We're starting on ga with our second finger. And then, again from ga ga de ga ma pa rest ma ga de sa ni sa de 
He'll go direct to the mukra. So try this with me. One, two, three, four. Again, and now we'll go to the mukra after. One, two, three, four. Gare gamapa, magare sanisa, lili gare re mi mi re. One, two, three, four. Gare gamapa, magare sanisa, lili gare re mi mi re. One, two, three, four. Gare gamapa. Great, so that's our time three. As you can see, it fits in the same place as the other ones. Before we end, we'll play all these three times together. However, I want to introduce you to our next um, topic, which will be a longer time. And this is something that you've already learned in the previous lessons. It's called the Rag Palta. And if you have learned that, this is our rag palta, and we're going to take this rag palta and turn it into a tom. And this will be our first longer time where we're starting on beat one and going through the full cycle. So, just to refresh the rag palta, we'll play that together here, starting from me. One, two, three, four. Ni de ga ma ga ma ga ni. There's the rag palta, and that will take us over a full cycle of teen tall. If you haven't learned that, um, you'll need to go back and get this one in your hand before we can play it at speed here. So, this. Rag Palta will cover the full cycle. And now to come back to our gut, we're going to take a different avenue and we're going to do something called a tihai. And a tihai is a very cool uh, phrase that happens in Indian music where we re repeat uh, a phrase three times. And on the last time, it will land on beat one. In this case, it'll take us right to our beat one, which is go. Now, let me just play for you the rag palta with the tihai, and you'll hear how this fits at 3 times and brought me back to the one of the gut. Let's first go ahead and learn the notes of this tihai and then we can combine it with the tabla. So our tihai is ba ma ga re sa ni re ga 1 2. This phrase happens 3 times. So try this with me. We're starting on ba second finger. And we're going bum bum a gare sa ni de ga. One, two, three, four. Bum a gare sa ni de ga. One, two. Bum a gare sa ni de ga. One, two. Bum a gare sa ni de ga. Ready 
with me again from the T high. So you can hear how this on the third time comes back and it's very important to have the spaces in between. I use the chikari to mark those because if you do not have the exact gap there, your tihai won't line up. So that spot is one tooth in between. Let's try this with the tabla. We'll do it a little slower to get it in our hands. Let's do it at 110. And we'll, first we'll just do the tihai a couple times from beat one, from pa. Here we go. Again, the tea high from the one. Great. Now let's do the rag palta and then the chihai to get us back to the composition. Here we go. Three, four. How this whole new piece works. Let's try it again from the rock puzzle. So now we have four tons. We have the first three that are shorter, and then this new longer one with the T high. So to end us today, I'll go ahead and play through all of these tons, and we'll do it slower. We'll do it at 110, um, so you have a little time to get the speed into your hands. So what I'm going to do is do gut, ton, gut, ton, gut, ton, gut, ton, and do all the four tons. See if you can join in with me now. Uh, we'll let one cycle of teen tall go by before we start with the gut. Da din din da da din din da na din din na te te din.
great. We've covered a lot today, and these are all of the essential terms and forms that you'll need to know as you keep learning tons. And once you learn tons in one rag, you'll see that the same pattern is applied uh, into all the rags and all the different towels that you might have. So this is a great place to start getting your understanding. Um, if the speed is too fast for you, don't worry about that. My goal is that the concepts are clear to you in this class and the, the notes of each ton. So I just played it at 110 there. Um, you could slow it down even more if that was too fast. Your goal is to get it up uh, around 130. That's really where uh, this gut, um, yeah, a good tempo for it is in that medium speed there. So work on getting the clarity of all of these, being able to play tons one through four, and um, just enjoying this, this fun part of the music. The tea highs are so fun. Um, you, you get a sense of how you can take off and improvise with the rag by learning these tons. So a lot to practice. Uh, take some time and work on these. And on the next class, we'll work on putting the whole composition and all the tons together into uh, one segment. So that concludes lesson 12. Thanks again for joining me. Please do take a moment to like and subscribe so you can stay in the loop of when new videos are released. And uh, I'm very passionate about traditional sitar music and carrying this tradition on. Um, if private lessons is a, a way that would help you understand and learn, I also offer those. You can check them out on my website, willmarshmusic.com. And it's been uh, great to have you on another lesson. We'll see you at the next one.